So I need a puncher. Yes. Take this, you son of a... Hug. No! Oh. Oh. I'm here for you. Always. Oh. Like you were for me. When was she here for me? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm such an asshole. <laughs> I tried to kill her. With no hesit- She said- She literally said no hesitation. So. Mmm. Little comment. Here. It's a dream catcher. Woof. Wear it when you sleep, and I'll keep the nightmares away. I'll always be with you. I was gonna try to punch her. <laughs> when you're all grown up. I should have tried it. it. Come on. No, I couldn't. Again. Uh, uh. And when the time comes, I don't think it matters. You'll have to stop me. You are the only one who can. What? Promise you'll remember. I Sam, can't remember. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. You always say that. I remember. You knew. You always knew. I did, and I didn't. I had so many dreams of the future. I didn't know which ones to trust. Which is why I decided to share them with you and the others. But to connect the dots, to make sense of everything, you need perspective. You need time. Perspective. Time has no meaning to me. I am not a lie. I am a single point, which is why all I could do was just show you the choices and let you decide. Our nightmares are your dreams. You found the common thread, the strand that links them together. Live life one day at a time. Thank you, Sam. Yay. Where did she get that dress from? A All she had was a red one. Here. But it still has a role to play. What you talking about, Willis? It was the bonds between people that brought the world together. And if that is what matters most to you, then I will stay here on this beach. And I will shut myself in and the rest of you out. Shut yourself in, come on. Once the last stranding starts, it can't be stopped. I can't go with you. All I can do is try to spare you the worst. Stay on the beach. Sam. I am the I beach. Am. I freaking knew it. And I must stay I here and be sure that the, the extinction beach. happens. Even if it takes tens or hundreds of thousands of years. Or millions of years. Alone? That's what an EE does. Hmm, 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 hmm. <sighs> On my job, none of this would have happened. But I, I couldn't take it anymore. I got so tired of waiting, and I figured that no one would blame me if I just got it all over with. Aww. So that's what I did. Hmm. Completely understandable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you and the others came together, connected. It's true. And you may be living on borrowed time, but you still have hope. Mm -hmm. Before each of the big five, life rebelled. They fought back. Hell yeah. Evolved in order to survive. The extinction isn't just an ending. It's an opportunity.
And if I have to pay the price for that, to be the sacrifice, then so be it. <laughs> together we will always be connected goodbye Sam For a second there, I thought he was going to keep that. A gun help you here. But it still has a role to play. I thought it was going to keep that doll and it was going to be like a new upgrade. That he could do like that transporting thing. Sam's beef. Bring it in. And bring this to an end. Okay, so. Ah. Yes. <laughs> Oh, look at that, I could, I could still hold on to him. Norman Reedus? Wait, what? Don't tell me the game is over. And I'm stuck here. Mads make... Wait. Can I not go back? What do I have to do with the gun? Troy Baker. What do I have to do with the gun, you guys? I thought for a second that I would have to shoot that thing. Will I die if I go out here? I don't know what to do. I still don't know what to do! I, I see the gun back there. Oh, God. Guillermo del Toro, nice special appearance. Is it a special appearance? Because he was there in the whole game. Hooray, I'm escaping the beach now. Run, Sam. Oh, yeah. What do I have to do with that gun, though? I'm still confused, you guys. Amelie! Amelie. Whoa! Oops. Hey! Amelie! Wait, am I supposed to look for Amelie still? I can't rest. I can still punch. I can jump. What is that? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, here we go. I get so scared when parts like that happen. Like, I don't know what to do. What now? Quiet, and I'll tell you. There is no time for questions. Oh. When you were young, you used to have bad dreams. You cried about them all the time. The truth is, those weren't your dreams. They were mine. For as long as I can remember, I've dreamt of the beach. Not just while sleeping. In my waking hours, too. In my dreams. I watched the world end so many times. Countless past extinctions that decimated life on this planet. Again and again and again. At first, I didn't understand what I was seeing or why. And that wasn't the worst of it. 
There were other, more terrible dreams. Dreams of death and destruction. Of a massive extinction to come. Like this one. And I would always be the one to end it all. To bring about the last stranding. I don't have to see her. As I have today. Send up. Alright, well that doesn't really answer my question. What do I have to do with this gun? What's up with that doll? Where do I go? Can I look at my map? Hidogujima. Oh, crap! Original story, game design, Hidogujima. Yeah! Woo! Hooroo! Hooray! Yeah! Woo! Written. Oh, here we go. Written by Hidogujima. Directed by Hidogujima. Um, started by Hidogujima. Ended by Hidogujima. What now? Can I leave? Let me just leave. Let me just run. As far away as I can. In one direction. I, I still can't do anything, right? Like, I can't pull out the gun. What am I... What do I have to do with this gun, you guys? I probably have to assassinate, um... What's his name? Die Hardman? Yeah. Die Hardman, I probably have to take this gun and go like, Hey, hey, I'm gonna shoot you. No, right? He was a good guy still, so, right? Uh, I'm seeing some lines over there. Maybe that means I have to go over there. Oh, maybe Higgs is still out here. Imagine. Um, maybe... Uh, what's it called? Um, fragile. She's like, oh, you're gonna die now. Oh, look, I got tired. Oh, it's another one of these. There's still more story? What the heck is going on here? Wait, so am I stuck here? Um, what the fudge? Hang on. No, Sam. What are you doing? Get up. Get up, you bastard. Okay. Alright, get out of here. I'm getting as far away from that beach as I possibly can. Sam? Could you please just... Alright, what's going on, Sam? Is the game trying to tell me not to go in this direction? Oh my god. What, what, what the hell? The first operation. I was only 20. I opened my eyes and found myself on the beach. What's that? Oh. What? But the Whoa. moment I came round, huh? I was back in the hospital bed. I was split across two worlds. Whoa. Bridget, my ha in that one. Oh. Amelie, my ka in this. Somehow, the two of us managed to coexist. Soon, our ages began to diverge. Only Bridget's body got older, while the beach kept Omni's the same. Oh. So I came up with a story. I told people that Amelie was my daughter. A daughter with a debilitating condition and an absent father. Look. What? Amelie. Am. Is French for soul. <laughs> oh, don't teach me anything. I don't want to learn. A soul that's a lie. There was no Amelie. Oh. Only me and the beach. Mm. That's interesting. I thought it was a curse in the beginning. Yeah. But later, I started thinking, maybe I can use this. It's I tried to find in the out morning, more you guys. about the beach. I've been here like seven hours. Because understanding the beach no, had to be the much. key to interpreting my visions of the future. Oh, God. Stand up. All right, please. Please, just let it end already. Is this the end? Is it literally end already? Come on, run. Run as fast as you can, Sam. You gotta get out away from that beach. Wait, am I... Am I being pulled back? Maybe I'm... Nah, let's just keep going this way. I'm gonna keep on going this way and I don't want anybody to tell me otherwise. I still don't know what to do with that gun. I think I've <laughs> What the fuck? 
I think eventually Amelie's gonna uh, get to her point, and she's gonna be like, "Oh, this is where you use that gun." <sighs> All right, Hidal Kojima, please. What do you want me to do here? You want me to go to the beach? Yeah, see? Okay. <laughs> what the fudge? All right, fine, fine, fine. I'll go in the water and I'll drown myself. That's probably what he wants me to do, right? Yeah, we'll see if we can make it to that iceberg over there. It's so late. I just want to go home and watch <laughs> and eat some nachos and watch uh, Tiger King or Cool Hand Luke. This game is like, hey, hey come on. We're still a little bit more. It lingers, you guys. Man, I just wanted it to be over already. I want it to be over. Is this all right? Can I do this? I probably have to drown myself, right? Yeah, I have to drown myself. Whoa! They won't even let me kill myself. Wow, 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 wow. All right, Amelie. You still, you're even if she's dead or whatever, she's still <laughs> pissing me off. Come on, finish the story already. Why do you keep like keeping me at I arm's length? The beach was connected to the world of the dead, which meant that somewhere out beyond it were the memories of time itself, uh, okay. including those of every organism that had ever lived. Four point six billion years of biological history, uh -huh. a history that might even stretch back to the creation of the universe. The chiral network and everything that followed was born from my pursuit of that knowledge. By passing data through the beach, we were unbound by the restrictions of time. Simulations that would have taken years or more were simple and effortless. Everything that the Earth had lost and forgotten could be reconstructed and reclaimed. But shortly after we began our research, America saw its first void out. I thought I was running out of time, that my nightmares were becoming a reality. So I raced to complete the chiral network as quickly as possible. The past held all the answers. If only I could find a way to piece them together. A network that bridged our world and the beach. That might do it, I believed. So. I started researching bridge babies, children bound to the world of the dead. Oh. What causes an extinction entity to come into being? What was the reason for the previous five mass extinctions? The answers to those questions would tell me how to stop the sixth. Uh -huh. I founded bridges, more determined than ever to build a chiral network that would cover all of America. The longer I fought my war against the inevitable, the weaker I became. My ha had cancer. The beach's punishment, maybe, for not playing along like a good little EE. -E. And then, just like that, my ha was gone. Oh, I remember I that. Finish what, I'd what was that, like the third episode? So, I asked you to do it for me. Oh. And you did. You helped us complete the network. Yeah. Helped us to reclaim everything the universe experienced from its inception to this moment. Mm -hmm. I remember. Every mystery was ours to solve. Okay. Like this one. <sighs> Once, there was an explosion. A big bang that gave birth to time and space. Thing is, it was more like a big fluke. All that matter and antimatter should have cancelled itself out, leaving nothing. But somehow, somehow, a tiny speck of matter survived. Just enough. Enough to make this world and everything in it. A world that shouldn't be a world out of balance. Order inevitably gives way to chaos. Everything that lives must inevitably die. It's like the universe is trying to return us to the nothing we came from. Maybe the Big Five were its best attempts to finish us off. But somehow, life always managed to survive just enough. Enough to thumb its nose at the will of the cosmos. You know, a 
I'm starting to think that extinction might be the key to overcoming total annihilation. It forces life to fight to survive, oh, to God. endure, to exist. <laughs> That's why the Big Five ultimately rekindled life instead of extinguishing it. From the ashes of the dead rise the living. Stronger and wiser. Inheritors of the legacy of existence itself. They defy the universe and refuse to surrender. They say, we're just getting started. Extinction is an opportunity. Oh, please. Not another one of these. I can't stand this, Amelie. Why can't you just get to your point already? Let me just get back to the world of the living. Oh, look. More credits. Technical art director. Are they going to go through every single credit one name at, one name at a time? Because if it is, I'm going <laughs> to seriously be pissed. Oh, no, no. Hang on. I can't do that, right? Let me just go in this direction. I haven't gone in this direction. Come on. Tire your... Whoa. That was a big jump. Tire yourself out, Sam. The, the more, the faster you get tired, the the faster it is that we'll get to Tomily's final point. Oh God, you guys! I guess I asked for this, right? I asked for an hour-long cutscene. How long has it been? I can't even remember. My my phone is literally at one percent, and it's still taking the the time for me. I don't know how much longer I can last. I don't know what else this game wants me to do. I'm still here. Maybe. Oh look, he's getting tired. All right, here we go, Sam. Take another rest. Are we just gonna die here? All right. I'm convinced now. I wasn't paying proper attention, but I think we might be stuck out here now. No, Sam, just sit down. Sit on the... Oh. Oh, maybe I see. Every time he passes out, he, like, looks in a different direction. Maybe I'm supposed to follow that direction. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, look. Right away, he got tired again. All right. Amelie, finish your stupid-ass story so we can get on with this day. And I can go home and eat some nachos. I'm flipping starving, you guys. Oh. Oh, man. Amelie, please, just finish your story. I pulled the trigger twice that day. Oh, here I we go. I knew at once I'd made a mistake. I found your beach and looked everywhere for you. Whoa. Sam. Oh, is that me? You. Are. you. Oh! She brought me back to life? You wanna go home? Let's go home. Look at my straps. I want it. I wanted to set you free from death once and for all. It's okay. I know the way. Where are you taking me, lady? Huh? I'm <sighs> doing so. I upset the fundamental balance between life and death. I just wanted to save you. I am an extinction entity. It's my fate to lead our species to extinction. But that moment, you became part of that fate. You became a repatriate, and dooms started spreading my nightmares to others throughout the world. It was me that got you and everyone with dooms into this. 
Not long after, the Death Stranding occurred. The dead clung to our world, and BTs used my beach to cross over and devour them, triggering more void outs. A catalyst that would set the world on a path to extinction. It was my duty to serve as a sacrifice, to wait and watch it unfold from this beach. That, or hasten the last stranding and end this slow death. Given these, my only options, I chose to end it quickly. But to trigger the last stranding, I needed you, a part of me. Here too. I would be able to witness extinction consummated with you by my side. But now that you're here, there's another choice. Keep you on keeping off. off. An EE doesn't have that option for itself. But in my nightmares, I saw another future. In one that nightmares. you chose. One where extinction is hope against total annihilation. So what you saying? I still don't know what you saying. Why why did she keep leaving like that, huh? Alright, let me keep on going. Whoa! Oh. What's that sound? Ah. Well. I don't really much understand it, but I guess. Here I am. <laughs> the game's over, you guys. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in Amelie's dumb beach. Uh, forever uh, I have to listen to her talk to me every once in a while I run in a different direction oh and I get to listen to low roar I still have this gun on my butt I don't know what it's for uh, I bet I'll, f I'll figure it out at some point oh god what's that sound it kind of sounds like the noises from uh, uh, PT remember you guys PT Hey, but I'm done with the game, aren't I? Right? It's over. It's over. The war is over. Oh god. Hey, look at that. Mules. Mules have a had a different uh, voices. Oh god, I can't even read. The like the letters are so tiny. Hunter Hideo Kojima. Who the hell is Hunter? Stunts. I don't know. Let's just keep on keeping on. Should we run into the water again? I want to go to the beach right now, you guys. Looking at this beach for so long. Hey, I'm in the beach now. I'm in the water. Yeah, look, look at my legs. Come on. It's left. Anything left? Special appearance. Conan O'Brien. <laughs> Edgar Wright. Uh, I'm not. Special appearances. Oh, here it is. Original <laughs> again. Hidogujima writers. Hidogujima. Oh, here we go. Casting director Hidogujima. Level design. Wow. I'm tired, God. I'm so flipping tired, you guys. How long have I been recording? Let's see. 10, no, 9. Like 9.30, 10.30, 11 30, 12.30, 1.30, 4. Probably like 5 hours I've been here, you guys. I don't know how much long this is gonna take. Come on, Sam. How long can you go? How long can you go? Are we going to get a notification at some point saying, Hey, hey you want to keep on walking forever or just want to end the video game, huh? How about that? That'd be nice, actually. Oh, so let's see. How do I feel about this game? Because the game's over, uh, I think. I think I'm going to be stuck in Amelie's dumb beach for the... No, maybe this is my beach, actually. Yeah, this is my own beach, you guys. I'm stuck here. Maybe uh, um, after the credits, 
Amelie will come back and she'll be like, whoa, looks like, looks like it's time for you to go back to the land of the living. And then she'll take me back to uh, Fragile. And we'll be with Fragile for the rest of our lives. Maybe we'll go see uh, Conor O'Brien again. That'll be nice. Uh, Guillermo del Toro will always be there. Maybe Hartman will find his family someday. Uh, looks like I'm a little bit tired. Is there a way to skip this? Is this even finished? What the f You gotta be kidding me. Come on, it ain't done yet. Not yet, Snake! It's not over yet! Yeah. I can't even hear. Can I jump through some food? Oh, look at this! Oh, I never did this. I think this is like a weapon I can use. A tactic I can use against them. Um, uh, terrorists and stuff, but I never did it. Amelie. Alright, punch! Do some punching, Sam. Yeah. I still don't know what to do with the, the, the gun. Maybe at some point we're gonna have, like, uh... Like a moment from, uh, like, from, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. Where you have to shoot the boss. And you have to pull the trigger. She keeps saying... She keeps saying that, uh, there's a reason that I have this gun. So I'm pretty sure I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a freaking shoot something. Oh my god, my phone is still not dead, you guys. It's at two percent. It's on battery saver. Produced and created by Hidogujima, obviously. All right. I'm a Lee. Come on, it ain't done yet. All right. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, come on. All right. Uh, maybe I should go start going in this direction because there's always like, it always stops me when I go in that direction. Oh, here we go. I got the gun in my hand. Finally, I can shoot Amelie or something. Okay, I won't help you here. <gasps> but it still has a role to play. Oh, I know. I have to shoot myself, right? And then I'll come back to the land of the living. All right, just die. <laughs> Reconnect with the living. Wow.